Good evening, everyone. It's exactly 6 o'clock on the 21st of April, the last on-screen class of the year. Um, welcome, everybody. And uh, I've only got 14. I hope a lot more people are coming. Um, tonight, uh, just as a review, um, on Tuesday, everybody should have their portfolio ready to go on Tuesday. Um, and uh, be ready to um, be ready to give me a a link on Tuesday, and then we will show your work, and you will discuss your work. You can um, you can do it from your chair, or come up to the front of the class and show it. Uh, front of the class is probably better. I uh, wish my uh, Trusty laser pen was um, working, but uh, so far not so much. Uh, so tonight, tonight we are going to. I see everybody is getting here late. Uh, tonight we're going to go. It is Tuesday, so I will say this for the seven hundredth time for all of you who've tuned me out for the last uh, three weeks. Tuesday, you are showing your portfolio. Tuesday, you are showing your portfolio. Tuesday, you're showing your portfolio. All right. So I, um, I just want to show something real quick, and, and I don't mean to embarrass uh, Sandy, who I know is very humble. Uh, I just wanted to show this. I thought this was done very well. Um, I thought these modals were done just wonderfully well. And then she's got, watch this. Oh, she put the carousel in her in her modal. So she's got some very nice stuff going and um, just wanted to show that to the class very quickly. And then and then as I was going, as I was thinking about portfolios and I was thinking about making sure everyone gets um, a nice um, a nice way to show off their work and an easy way for people to show off their work, um, I, I started to think about and we didn't really do this in class very much, and that was to put an actual responsive data table inside something we had already done. So uh, what I did was to create, and we're, this is going to be our project tonight. Uh, we're going to walk through this together here, um, and I think that you will like this uh, very much. So here you, and I'm just using the Smith site, you, you can drop this into yours, you can put whatever kind of CSS you want to it. I just wanted to show you how effective this is uh, if we were to drop this in. So here's the Smith site we worked on two weeks ago tonight. Um, again, just using um, just using images, this, this has nothing to do with, I just grabbed the first image I could and dropped it in, not trying to publish this or anything. Um, and then, but what I did is I took um, a responsive table and put it in and, and so I could talk about project experience. So you're trying to get the words on, on your site, project experience. And I want to make this very clear. Put this in addition to anything that you've got on your grid. So where I just showed Sandy's grid where she's got Bigelow T and she's got... Um, uh, the guy from How You Met Your Mother and X, XYZ. Um, this this is an excellent way to show all of your work in a list. So you could talk about your project experience, and then you can get a you can talk that you've got a considerable number. Here I'll highlight this a little better. A considerable number of student projects in Bootstrap, CSS, and HTML, including time-sensitive hackathons, where parameters are given and all code must be executed in a short amount of time because your whole workday is a hackathon. Uh, so it's got a it's got a header, and then it's got the subhead, and then we go into the actual you know what you did. So. Uh, what I'd like to do is create one of these, and, and obviously we could have this be, you know, I just did the stuff we did in my class. You should have, you know, type, logo, uh, 
uh, brochure, but it lists all of the stuff. And, and I just did what I did, just eight here. There were way more than eight projects we did this year. So um, I, I highly recommend uh, dropping this in. Can anybody, is there anybody else who cannot see my desktop? Can everyone see my desktop? Chat back to me. All right, I, um, Meg, I don't know why I can't see your desktop. You may need to restart. Um, so what we're going to do tonight is we are going to build this um, from scratch. And, and what I've done is I've sent everything that you see here, I've sent to you, and then uh, I may have even cheated and put in uh, I put in some features and stuff. You can see you've got some space over here to work with. But let's just jump into this bad boy right now. Can you put those links in the modal? Theoretically, yes. Vanessa's question is, can you put those links in the modal? Yes. Uh, I just did mine as flat H, uh, hrefs. If you want to pop them as modals, I did them as blank. I did them as underscore blank because if and I'll give you this example right here. If, if I'm if I'm on Jumbotron, I want them to go to the Jumbotron site I just did and get the full features of the Jumbotron. If you put it inside a modal, then you're going to constrict what you did. So maybe you put you know a logo you did in a modal. So that's that's the difference, Vanessa. So. I, I strongly recommend, you know, you know, down here, logo, uh, here, brochure, here, book cover, here, calligraphy, here, whatever. And you should have this long list of stuff that you've done. All right, let's, um, as usual, let's get some rock and roll moving on this tonight, okay? So here we go. Um, I did, I sent everybody the Smiths. If everybody could rename it to the Smiths underscore with underscore table, so you can have two different things. And I'll give you 10 seconds to do that. Nine, eight, seven, six, seven, four, three, two, one, done. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we know that we're not, we're going to put this, I put it right below where we put all these images. So that is on or about. For some reason, this is asking me to either end, oh, hold on. for me to end the meeting for all or to choose an organizer to take over. Um, I, I think you're just supposed to click on whatever we're supposed to be doing. Um, and make sure that you're on the right one for today, Megan. Um, okay, here we're back to this. Um, and we're going to put it right below Morrissey, uh, Johnny Moore, and we're going to put this right here. You, obviously, we can put it into a different background color. I'm skipping all that because we're going to have enough to do just to get this um, going tonight. So here we are in our code. You should be, mine says the Smiths here, but... Um, Actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to do save as, and I'm going to do underscore, and I'm going to do uh, with table underscore one, because I've already done with table. Okay, so we're going to scroll down to about line 296. Because line 296, I will let, give everybody a few moments to get this going. Because welcome back, Meg. And uh, we should be on line 296. And we're doing this, in, and this is, we had a very excellent comment out on all these on the container. So what we're going to do around 296 is we're going to start commenting. So our first comment is going to be, 
and and as you know, I like to to prompt all my comments with "Hey." It's going to be "Hey, comma, smart, cool table," and what I did was put a container and then a table responsive. Period. Space. Space. Smart. Huh? <laughs> Smart, eh? So what we're obviously going to need to do here first is to open and close and say and build a div class. So our div class is going to equal container. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. So we need, because, why do we need to put it in a container? Because if I don't put it in a container right here, I'm going to use my little spotlighter. If I don't put a container here and here, this, all of this will just ram over to here and it'll look silly. It, it, this will all like fall over to here. So what we do is we have container. And then what I then what I do right after it is I'm going to say, I'm going to say exactly what it is. So I'm going to create another, I'm going to create another comment. I'm going to make a little space here. I'm going to create another comment and I'm going to say, hey, my header and blurb go right below the container because they are not inside the container. Marlon, thanks for being late to my class. Hey, so here we are with the, um, what we've done with the, here's what we've done with the comment, hey, my header and blurb go right below the container because they are not inside the container. No, I'm sorry. I don't mean to say inside the container. Inside the table. Inside the table. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This last word should be table. Sorry, I was distracted with my smart aleck remark. Below the container because they are not inside the table. So now I want to create that project experience header. So, so easy. So easy. H2. And let's close an H2 tag. And you can just type in or you can copy and paste what we did already. Project experience. Which, by the way, I sent everybody that already. So you can just hi highlight that project experience. Pop it in there, okay? And below it, we're just going to use a P tag to do that little blurb. So let's start a P tag. And then uh, let's go back to what I sent you before, and that is considerable number of student projects and bootstrap, blah, blah, hackathons, blah, blah, short fixed time, blah, blah. Copy it. Pop it right into the P tag. No fuss. No muss, okay? And, and once again, a, a theme all the way through this class, and, and this is really the last lecture of the semester. This, this doesn't get very, this is not going to get much harder, okay? So here we are. We're going to comment again, and we're going to say, hey, this is where my responsive, well, I like all caps, sorry. Sorry. Hey, this is where my responsive table starts. Okay? Guess what's going to go below here? We're going to open and close. And now, very, very important. This is this one thing makes the entire table responsive, which means when it goes below 768 pixels, it will give a little scroll bar to it. 
Actually, let's add that to the comment. We're going to add that to the comment. Anything below 768 pixels will show a scroll, let's say horizontal scroll bar. All right, let's go back to our tag and let's create this. And it's another div class. We're putting a div class. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Let's, I forgot to do something when I made this original div up here. I got to close this div. Somebody probably commented, chatted that to me and I didn't see it. I apologize. Okay, so I've closed the div on this original container up here. So now I go back to this div. I mean, let me put a little space in here. Rum, bum, bum, bum. Div class. These things are so easy to build. Div class, quote marks, table, hyphen. For all of you, when this doesn't work, you need to make sure that you have table hyphen responsive and then close, okay? And then right below it, before, so we don't forget, we're going to close the div again, okay? So what we've got is We've got a div class for the entire container, which we've closed. We've got a div class for table responsive. Okay. And now we're going to build, we're going to start with a table class, okay, or with a table. Which means we need to build, type in, open and close, table class equals table. Oh my gosh, this is very complicated code. And what do we need to do that I wouldn't do unless somebody reminded me? Close that table. All right, now we're just off to the races, okay? Because now we're just going to do what we always do in class. And that is, as you know, we want to make, we want to make headers here. We want to make them bold, but we want, we don't want to put B tag, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So let's let's put in our our table head table head and let's close our table head and Let's put in some ta some table heads, table head, and then close the table head. And you can copy and paste what I sent to you, which is project. And then you can do the, um, we can do our amber trick where we go one, two, three, and then we replace with type URL. Features. Okay, and now we're going to save it. Is anyone lost? No one is lost. Thank you. So what I'd like everybody to do is to save it and run it. So what you should have is exactly this. Project experience, considerable number of blah, blah, project, type, URL, features. Okay? Everybody with me so far? If anyone is, thank you, Amber. Okay. Let's, um, let's just get back to rocking and rolling on this bad boy. Okay. 
So we've got our table head in here. I don't want to say we're practically done. <laughs> but we've got a lot of good stuff going on. So the next thing we're going to do is put in our body tags. T body. And then what I want to make sure that I've done after I put in my T body tag right below this table, I put T do you like how I put two body? Two body. I want to close that T body tag. That's the second time I try to put a TO in front of body. So there's the close on my T body tag. Okay? And I can make sure that all these line up. I can make sure my table head lines up and my divs line up, okay? So in my T body, and what I I think I'm missing a I think I might be missing a um, close tag on a div tag somewhere, but so on my T body, I want to start building rows, okay? So my first row is that jumbotron roll. So here I've got table row. And, and the reason I'm going through this is so many projects have tables in them. So when you have a lot of tables, I just want to make sure everybody's got experience in this. So we've got table row. Of course, we're going to close the table row. And now let's talk about our table data. And our table data, we're TD, and we just close the TD in the same line as we always have, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to call this Jumbotron. And again, if you want to use what I said here, you can see, you can see here's the project. Da, da, da. So all the other things that we're doing tonight, these are going to, all these are the table rows. These are each of the table rows. And I know a lot of you like to work ahead and stuff like that, but you can see this is going to be the project. This is going to be the type. This is going to be the URL. This is going to be the features. So that's why I thought that I, I sent it so it would be easier for you to pluck these out and put them in. So let's just work through and start building this out. So we've got um, Jumbotron, and then let's uh, do our let's do our Amber trick. One, two, one, two, three, and we've got Jumbotron, and then this is a Bootstrap. And here's where you're going to need to kind of stick what stick with what I've put on here, because it doesn't give you the name of the of the carousel. So inside, you know, where we've got the, um, where we have uh, the URL, let's just do an, an ahref. So let's do ahref equals quote, and I just did W3 schools. You can do ESPN, whatever. So I did HTTP colon slash slash www.w3schools. It was the first thing I could think of. And then I close it. But then I want to make it go to another tab. So I do target equals quote, oops, equals quote underscore blank. Don't forget the underscore. I will say that again. Do not forget the underscore. And then we have the word, uh, what did I do on here? www.nameofjumbotron.com. Now, several of you have very long, you know, because it's www, you know, it's professor, www professor, or student 12, dot professor rota, dot jenna jenna. It's, um, uh, thank you, Vanessa. Um, so what I want to what I want to show everybody is this concept, which is uh, the URL shortener from Google. I don't know if you've ever seen this, 
but it's called the Google URL shortener. So let's say that you're, you are, it's www.student21.professorota.com slash web slash blah slash blah blah html or you know uh, photo dot html so what you do is you click i am not a robot because you need to do this recapture i'm not a robot and you click shorten url i th i don't know if this works because this is an actual oh it does what you do is you control paste it, you control copy, and then you can paste this right in here. So you would have a much, much shorter URL. Okay? It's just a little trick. Um, and then we would obviously make sure we closed that A tag. Um, so you guys don't, I, I don't want anything to run over. I think it'll be a nice way to keep everything together um, and it makes it easier to, to do. And if you clicked on it, if you click on it, it'll just go to your, your page. All right, so and then, and then I liked to use, um, and then I did used CDNs instead of external, and you can do external style sheet, style sheets, and then hit save, and then we're going to run this thing again, and I just put mine in, in 11, I hope you did too, just because I keep all the Smith stuff together, and I scroll down, and we see that we are the smartest people on the planet Earth. Okay, so you've got Jumbotron, you've got Bootstrap, you've got a URL, you've got features. So now, all the years that you've been working on projects are now available in a responsive table that will look awesome on your website, and it will, it will remind the art director who's looking at this like, holy crap, this person has been exposed to tables and moreover has been, has been exposed to responsive tables, okay? So look what we've got going now. And now that we're kind of smoking on this, boom, 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 we can start copying and pasting. Okay, so here we have... And the only thing we're really going to do is we're going to be very conscientious and we're going to take a table row and copy it because we don't want to go outside of T-body and T-body because that's the body of the table. And then we paste it. And now what's our next project? Well, our next project is Carousel. We know it's a bootstrap, so we're not even going to change it. And then whatever the project, you know, whatever the project was. So I just did www. I did www. You know, name of carousel. Dot com. Okay. And then I had a different. I I just had different notes. So what you do in the notes is you drop all these names that they're looking for, like full width monitor and glyph icons. And I take that and I pop it right in there. Boom. And now I save it and now I run it. And once again we look like geniuses. Okay? They know what the UR it's so easy to show everything that you have done. Okay? You don't, need to, you don't need to write 10 paragraphs on what you've been working on, okay? So you can, and you can rename the stuff. If you don't want to call it features, you can call it notes, or you can call it inspiration, or you can call it, you know, web address, or you can call it whatever, okay? Assignment, project. So here we are. We created that row in less than 60 seconds. 
So let's go back. I don't want to open this crap. Hold on one second. Something's going to open on my screen. La, 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 la. And I'm going to click on you, and I'm going to tell you to quit. Okay. Clicked on the wrong thing. And now we're back to our code. And now we want to hit this table row again. And we copy and paste. And we go to scroll down. Everyone's getting the hang of this? You better be. We've got scroll down. We know it's bootstrap. And we say it's name of scroll down. All of you should, in your heads, be going, holy crap. I'm thinking of all the stuff I'm going to put on my table on my already cool portfolio page. And I'm you do not need to have this on your portfolio page for Tuesday. I would strongly recommend it. The links don't have to work, but I would say that you know, showing a pro showing project experience in a way that somebody can easily click on it and go from there, even if you're repeating information someplace else, that's fine cuz this person may Scroll, 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 scroll. And as soon as they see a link, they go click, 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 click. So that's really going to help everybody. And then on this one, I put ease down feature collapsing navigation. And you can just put, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you want to put in there. You know, if, was it a hackathon? Was it a homework assignment? You know, whatever note, whatever feature you want to put on it is going to be fine. So is everyone doing okay on this? Is anyone completely lost? Better not be. But it's okay to say you are. <laughs> okay, the last one on the bootstraps is full monitor video. And then name of and I just put full monitor here. And then on this, um, I think I put on background image and CSS. Because remember last week we couldn't figure out how to change that. I'm sorry, not we, me, I, I could not figure out where it was and Matt bailed me out. So background image and CSS, I save it. I run it, I spin it, and now I've got all this stuff going on. Look at all this. So now we start now we start looking at a a student portfolio website that's got a lot of pertinent information and has the word experience on it. So instead of being like some drip who leaves another design school, you have project experience. So then our next so then our next is we're going to copy this and we're going to move over to CSS and we're going to drop the table row in. Okay? And then our first one in CSS is going to be called Tables. And our second one is going to be called CSS. And then we're going to, I just changed it to Name of, name of Tables. Game of Tables. Okay, and then we changed whatever um, you'll see in here, uh, the first CSS, Use of Color, palettes and CSS for info. Again, Victor did a tremendous job on this project. He really smoked this project. It was awesome. Okay, so now we've got a table row. We're going to copy it again. And, and, and again, I only have eight things on here. You guys should have, I don't know, 12, 16, 20 things, more, just to show all the stuff you've done 
because the table is, think of it as, as a summary of everything you've ever done at Bridgeport. It's almost a perfect way to show everything that you've ever done. So we've got tables, uh, now we've got sticky nav. Sticky nav, not nave, and the name of sticky nav. And then first time, and they don't care if it's a first time, first time incorporated sticky nav. I think that's what I wrote. It's okay to tell somebody it's the first time you worked on something because you're showing that all in reverse order. So when you put in Robert Mitchum or you put in, you know, the Iranistan, um, uh, Sandy's, um, Sandy did just a tremendous job on that very first HTML for, um, uh, for the Google thesis. It was tremendous. It was tremendous. Rose says she has messed up somewhere, so we're going to take a little, we're going to pause here, and I'm going to un, I'm going to, hold on one second, Rose, we're going to bail you out here in a second. I'm going to share the screen. Rose, I'm going to unmute you, and then I'm going to have you. You're going to be taking over the screen here in a second. So the presenter is now going to be Rose. And Rose, could you say something? Say something into the screen. Make sure you're. Oh, you. I know exactly what you're not closing the Rose. Rose, can you say something into the screen? Rose, are you speaking? Did I unmute you? Rose, you're unmuted, but no one can hear you. All right, so Rose, it, uh, it has you unmuted, but here, go back to your, okay, could everybody, I'm actually going to unmute everybody, so anybody can speak, so if you've got background noise on, turn it off. All right, everybody could speak now, but don't speak all at once, and don't make me go deaf. Hello. Hello. Um, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody don't... Can er Everybody can hear me, right? Okay. All right. Everyone look at, is everyone looking at Rose's screen? Oh, I see. Rose, you have a close, you close the table tag after features. Okay, so Rose, what you need, what you need Okay, number one is you need to have below table class, it needs to say T head, not thread. And then below that, you need to close the table. There you go. Now below the word features, you need to close. Whoa, 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 whoa. After table head, after T head, you need a TR. You need to create a, t a table row for all those headers. Okay, so just TR. There you go. Now below the word features, you need to close that table row. Okay, so you know slash TR. Okay, 
we're going to walk you through this. And then, and then below the TR, I need you to close the T head, okay? So open and close and slash T head. There you go. Whoa, whoa, put a slash in front of it. There you go. Save just in case. And now below the table head, you should have T body. And then you should have table row, table row. Okay, now div. Where can you scroll down a little bit? I want to see, did you close all your divs? Yeah. Table row. T body, you've got T body and you close the T body, then table row, table row, jumbotron, bootstrapped into table row, table row. All right, could you save it and run it and see what happens? And Vanessa says you have a double closed table tag, but you're looking pretty good here, right? All right, you're good now. All right, I'm now going to mute everybody. Rose, um, everyone's muted, correct? All right, I'm now going to take over the screen because I'm selfish and kind of terrible. Show my screen. I'm now the presenter. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. Okay. Everyone's back on my screen, right? All right, everybody's back on my screen. Good, 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 good. Okay, let me mute. Let me uh, put the controls down on this. Where were we? We were on sticky nav. We were on sticky nav with CSS, and we did sticky nav. So once again, we're going to copy this table row. And now we're going to drop it in here, and we're going to do, and now we're going to switch over to HTML, or, you know, the subject is HTML. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 sorry, 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 wait, 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 everybody. You can't see my screen? Can you see it now? Okay, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Sorry. That was weird. Well, I think we'll just blame Rose for that, and uh, that was pretty awkward, Rose. Okay. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, everyone give Rose a hard time, please. Thank you. In Spanish and or English. No, <laughs> Rose, come back. <laughs> Rose, don't go. Rose, don't. Amber, get the pitchforks. <laughs> all right. I'm telling you guys, I've been sad all day because I know that we're, you will soon be rid of me, and I, want, and I will miss all of you terribly. So let's do video site, and then we're going to change CSS to HTML, and we're going to do name of video site. Thanks, Vanessa. And then on the video site, we said that we embed embed YouTube into HTML. Oops. Embed you. Oops. YouTube into HTML, okay? 
and then we're going to take this. If you want to, save it, spin it. You can see how far we're getting. I think we're down to like the next to last one. But you can see this is not a short, you know, list. And it's a nice way also, if you want to make your site longer. I, I know a lot of us a lot of us feel like we don't have much going on with our you know our work but it's you know we've got a lot of you know very nice stuff here so um, let's go back to our code let's wrap this up and let's take this last table row uh, I'm going to be very honest with everybody I thought this was going to take a long time for all of us to do and now we've just blown this thing away um, and now we're going to do lists, and then we're going to do HTML, and we're going to just do name of lists, um, and then variety of list options. Variety, variety of list options. Okay, save it, and let's spin it. And how does it look for everybody? Oh my goodness gracious. So here's our site. Let me push let me push this down. Here's our site that we've been used to. It's just the holder images, just because they were wide images. And then we and then we come across our project experience. And you really should have a lot of stuff in there okay it's just something that they can click on they can see maybe it's just a link to your you know that specific section of your Behance page maybe it's just you know you know it'll link to something that you know pops up or, or works you know any any way that you'd like for it to work so I think these are this is the this is the kind of thing that subtly yet effectively shows that you know what you're doing. So, um, and if you, and just everybody, if you didn't notice before, when you're on this page, I actually, I was actually going to lecture on this tonight, and then I remember, wait, we already did this. When you scroll down on this, watch the sticky nav. If I scroll down to the band, the band is now highlighted up here. When I scroll to tour, it's highlighted here. Now, 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 now. What do we want to do to finish this out? We want to add experience into the navigation. Okay? Now let's see if we can get this right. So let's go all the way back up to the top. Holy smokes, that's a long site. What am I doing? Sorry, I overshot it. Here's our here's our navigation on or about line 172. So in front of tour, in front of tour, we're going to amber this and do shift control, and then it's going to say where it says band, again, we're trying to put in, you know, in between band and tour, we're trying to put in, and let's just do projects. We're not even going to put in experience. I like navigations that have one word. So we're going to go back to here. We're going to highlight all cap, and we're going to do projects, okay? But we're not done with that yet, obviously, because we've got a little anchor tag here, and we just want to call this project. Okay? Now, let's make sure that we do ours like everything else. So... See the div ID band, class, container, text, center. I want everybody just to copy this right on line 240. Okay? 
actually mm, I don't want to do that because it's going to center my type right I don't want to center my type all right so I'm just going to I'm just going to worry about the div ID and let's see if we can get this right we're going to just take div ID band and I said projects, right? And we're going to scroll down to wherever we were. 276 div. And we're going to do div ID. We're going to we're going to paste it in right here on two about 299. Okay, I'm here at 299 because we're going to do the container, okay? Because the container's got, container's got project experience right there. So I may have copied and pasted the wrong thing. Let me, uh, let me go back. I want to see how they did this. I forgot how we did this last week. So just, I'm just scrolling back to 240. Div ID equals band class. So div ID equals band and then a space and then class. Div ID on 290. Div ID equals band. But it should now say projects. Okay? Div ID equals projects space class container. Save. Did I say project or project? Ooh. Just for, wait, wait, watch what, I'm going to put an S back up here because I want this to be consistent. I don't know why, but I want to be consistent. Let's scroll down to 299. Aren't, the, aren't you glad they start putting numbers on the sides here? Yeah. So we have projects. Save it. Spin it. And I hope I taught this to you right, everybody. Booyah! Projects. And then look what it eases into. And I click on tour. I go to tour. I go back up to band. I go back to projects. I go to home. And now I go back to projects. Oh my goodness gracious, and it all works, and when I, when I scroll it, everything up here, when I scroll the tour, Carl, you're so Spanish, when I scroll, when I scroll, it highlights tour, okay? Now, the term for that is called scroll spy, S-C-R-O-L-L, spy SPY I'm gonna type that out for everybody scroll spy okay I should have put that on the test now once again you all have proven very smart and that was my lecture tonight. I thought we were gonna run way over on this I know I know a lot of you are trying to uh, have asked for extra time, not extra time for Tuesday, but just extra time from class and everything to get back to your portfolio to work this through. So I'm just, just in summary tonight, you Tuesday is the big day. Do not, not be ready. Be ready on Tuesday, okay? Doesn't need to be the most polished, perfect thing, but I need to see a lot of stuff and I need I need to show I need you to show me that you've done this correctly a week from today is the last class of the year we will have pizza we will have closing thoughts um, and everything what we did tonight with the um, project experience is a good thing to remember where, where we did something and we adapted to something that we already knew. We didn't try to overdo it. We didn't try to overdesign it. And it worked very well. So uh, I'm giving everyone extra time to work on their portfolio from tonight. 
Um, and if you've got any questions, please let me know. But we're going to wrap it up here tonight. And um, please, please, please be ready on Tuesday. Be ready on Tuesday. Be ready on Tuesday. Anybody got any other questions? Any other comments? Everybody's good? Did everyone leave already? <laughs> All right, good, good, good. All right. Um, and unless anybody's got anything else you need me to go over, uh, I'd like to uh, offer this free time for you so you can get going back on your uh, portfolio and make them look really great. So if there are any objections, I'm going to stop the session for tonight, and I will see everybody on Tuesday, okay? If you have any questions, just chat them back to me, okay?